today is as good as any to install this parking camera solar powered parking camera or disabled backup camera and since my car already has a backup camera I'll be installing it at the front of my vehicle if you want to read any part more detail feel free to pause the video Not sure what tools I'll need yet, but I figure I'll need a, a wrench. Maybe just something to remove my license plate. there. Don't need a camera unit just yet. I mean, I don't need a screen just yet for the camera unit. The charge port is here. Charge it for first use. Then afterward, it should be solar powered. Here's a double side adhesive. Got a micro USB cable. Car mount. So the micro USB cable is going to be for the the camera unit, whereas the cigarette power adapter here, this is for the LCD screen. It's got a ball joint. It's very similar to just about any other car window suction mount. But as for the cigarette power adapter, I think this is like the on off button for aging the monitor. And then here is another USB port. So I can use that to charge anything that's five volt, three amp max. Right. On second thought, I'm going to test it first. I'm gonna test if I can flip the image 180 degrees. I think I should be able to. Most of the other backup cameras, wired, wireless, I don't think, just being because these solars ain't different. But all the other ones, they allow me to flip, mirror. Camera's here. I plug the LCD monitor into the power port. Wow image is pretty clear. Let's see if there's any oh, buttons are on the side here. Compare others. Let's see. MU control. So this could be mounted this way. Switch it back again. Upside down side, upside. So at default it was this. And I can also mount it this way if needed. 
Excellent. It's unfortunate that I can't adjust the angle, like tilt it upward or downward. Because from here, I'm not sure how far this chair is. Right, so let's go take a look. It's at the foot of the bag and the chair. Huh, so it'll be about here. Let's if I adjust a little bit more. That's about two and a half feet. Well, the chair is about two and a half feet. Let's see what this says. Okay. Yep. It's at the chair length. But if I'm trying to park, I need to be able to see at an angle. It's two and a half feet. That's a lot of maneuver room. The screen times off automatically after maybe 30 to 60 seconds. And to wake up the screen, I can just press any of the buttons on the side or just press the button by the cigarette power port here. That wakes it up. Probably just, just leave it mounted over there. That way when I'm backing up, I have my backup camera there, front camera there. So the idea for this unit is not bad. I think a couple of things is missing is that the license bolt mounts or the openings, it's not really fitted for US plates. I can always drill it myself, but I'm probably not gonna do that. If I drill myself, I need to use a washer because what it came with for mounting is an adhesive. Uh, in New Jersey, it gets very hot in the summer. It gets very cold in the winter. So only time will tell how well that holds up. The screen quality, display, image, it's very good. So the screen just went out. I'm gonna go press this button on the bottom. Once I press it, it wakes up again. This unit was sent to me for review. I'll place a link to it in the description below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster. Bye.